I am a big fan of Tati and this is not the easiest video for me to do. But I promise you guys the facts and that's what I'm gonna give you. Tati, please don't hate me for this. Hi everyone. In this part, we are going to talk about Ceramide RX. Before we proceed, I just want to add that I have done the research to the best of my abilities and my knowledge and in the given time. If you guys have any other information or papers, articles that might say otherwise or actually prove the point, either ways, I would really, really appreciate if you can and mail that to me. My contact information is in the description box below. And I really want to thank you all for the overwhelming support so far. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps the video get ranked above the other controversial videos a little bit and you know helps spread the information. And I really, really appreciate that. If you would like to stay in touch, please hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell next to it so YouTube will inform you when I upload my next video. Tati claimed that the cost was high because of the ceramide. There are other ceramide pills on the market online. They're about $10 to $20 and the dosage is a lot higher. You can get ceramide for your skin in much more fun ways. There's creams, oils, sheet masks that you could use to get your ceramide. There's no need to take it as a pill when every other form of it is just as effective, if not more effective and way more fun to use. Okay, so all of you who use creams or face masks because you want to improve the health of your skin know that even though it is fun, it is stressful. You know, doing anything on a regular basis takes a lot of time and sheet masks especially. I actually get very agitated when I have to just sit there with something on my face and I'm constantly thinking about what else I could be doing. So I don't think it's as much fun as Alex thinks, okay? Okay. Besides that, creams and lotions containing ceramides are not cheap. They are pretty expensive to begin with. And it is important to know there are different kinds of ceramides in the market. According to this particular Asai Miyachi paper, oral supplementation of ceramide is much, much, much better than topical application of ceramide-based creams. Note that the oral supplementation was with corn ceramides and the topical cream was rice ceramides based. And I'll tell you why that's important a bit later. But basically, this paper tells us that oral supplementation is better than topical application and that 40 milligrams of ceramide is better than 20 milligrams. So then Alex shows us this document LLC 12A and he uses that as a jumping off point to say that Halo Beauty is not an official or real business. It is just an LLC. This is a trademark listing for a company named Inside Out Beauty Labs and a product named Ceramide RX. This leads me to believe is that Ceramide RX is not a specific formula. It's just regular ceramide under a brand name. Well remember how she's been working on this for years and it's years in the making. This is the state filing in California for Inside Out Beauty Labs, filed August 21st, 2017. Tati and James are both on there. This was their registry. This is all the proof you need. If this had been in development for years and years, you'd have so much more backdated trademark information, registries, SEC filings, all sorts of things that businesses do. But because this is not a corporation, this is not a true company, this is an LLC. Anybody can make one of these. You could make your own brand and say you're an LLC and act all official when you're really not. This gives you a little perspective for the kind of scam this is. LLC stands for Limited Liability Company, which means that your liability in terms of debts or obligations towards the company are only limited to whatever investment you have made into the company. And in fact, you don't want to file it before your business is going to start selling products because in the state of California, you need to pay a minimum of $800 in taxes every year after you file the LLC. For example, you guys know how long I have been working on my eyeshadows, right? But if I ever decide to make it big, if I ever decide to you know, hire a couple of people and I take a loan to start the business. Then I would file the LLC right before I secure the funding and take the loan so that say for example, I have an accident and I cannot continue the business. The bank cannot go after my kid's future for that. All they can go after is whatever assets I have as a part of this LLC. You know what I mean? So now that we have established that an LLC does not define when anybody started the actual research, one more thing I can tell you is that this document that Alex is showing us here is just a part of the LLC 12 form 
that was filed on behalf of Inside Out Beauty and all it tells us is that Tati and James are both listed as managers on here and they filed the LLC last March when they were probably getting close to marketing their product. That's all it tells us. Besides that, they might have filed for a separate brand name for the ceramide that they were getting from the Japanese supplier. But as a consumer and as a scientist, my main concern is whether the ceramide works or not and whether it justifies the cost or not. Correct? So when I googled rice ceramide, I came across a website by True Body Wellness who have the exact same image in the document that Halo Beauty has on its website, which makes me believe that Halo Beauty is either getting their ceramides from True Body or from the same supplier as True Body. And then I found ceramide-bcd.com, Da Vinci Labs, and eventually a few documents by Orisa Oil and Fat Chemical Corporation Limited or something like that. The very first document makes me believe that they are the manufacturer of this rice ceramide and they have multiple versions of it as listed in this ceramide catalog and I believe that the ceramide PCD is the version that pretty much everyone is using. Almost all the studies that are provided in the catalog are either in vitro which means they are done on cells in a petri dish or they are animal studies that means they are preclinical studies and those studies are important but these are not clinical studies basically. So both True Body Wellness and ceramidepcd.com are flaunting this this graph hinting that it is based on clinical studies whereas I just showed you the graph that is also present in the Oriza document is actually based on in vitro studies in which they soak skin cells in a petri dish in different ceramide solutions for eight hours and checked for their water content at the end of it. So this is clearly a false representation of the actual data. This misrepresentation was not present on Halo Beauty website. The plots are actually from what looks like clinical studies. However, I could only find the document. I could not find a peer-reviewed published paper. I just want to put it out there before we proceed. But it looks like they did do a clinical study. There were only 33 participants. Only 17 received the riceramide. It was a double-blind placebo-controlled study, which means neither the participants nor the dermatologists who were administering the medication knew who was receiving the rice ceramides and who was just receiving the placebo. The rest of the study protocol looks good as well. Study looked at three different regions for water content, oil content, and acidity before supplements at three weeks and at six weeks. They only saw changes in the water content in all the three regions at the end of six weeks. Having said that, given the actual ceramide group itself was so small, only 17 subjects is not considered good in some for clinical studies especially and another thing is that their subjects were very young they were all below mid 30s the average age in the group was about 24 to 25 years and that kind of explains the 23 year old skin sample shown on halo beauty website given all that here are the conclusions i have drawn there is no misrepresentation or misinformation about this rice ceramide on halo beauty website there are these really small clinical studies done on the rice ceramide itself and there are a few in vitro studies and animal studies which seem to suggest that the rice ceramide might be better in increasing skin's water retention capability compared to wheat or corn based ceramides but that has not been proven clinically and I could not find any peer-reviewed published studies that would say so so do let me know in the comments below if you think this supplement is worth the cost or not of course we have few more ingredients left to discuss don't forget to hit like subscribe and the little notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one bye